for the projects that we're working on, trying to come up with new therapies. It's very exciting that someday that, that could be used in humans. And I think that Purdue actually is just a very unique place because you can see we have medicinal chemistry, or biochemistry, or pharmacology, or everything is in place. The outcome is going to be something very significant. Purdue University is very unusual in the number of drugs that have emerged out of the basic science conducted here at the university. Uh, Professor Aaron Ghosh in our department has two drugs that are either approved or currently undergoing clinical testing. We have now at Endocyte uh, uh, six drugs that are in human clinical trials. And uh, these drugs are for treatment of everything from kidney cancer to ovarian cancer to lung cancer to breast cancer. It would be a great surprise to me if any other university uh, in the United States had that many drugs uh, from their uh, basic science in undergoing human testing. Uh, it would be unusual even to have a large pharmaceutical company to have uh, you know, any more than that. So to have that many from the university is quite a remarkable achievement. There are two different ways that you can go about discovering a drug. You, know, you can screen large compound libraries against a particular target, a protein target, say. Or you can design a molecule based on knowing what the target you're going after is. So there's a, uh, a growing group in the chemistry department that's involved in trying to target these types of biopharmaceutical therapies to the specific site in, in the body, whether it's cells or tissues or organs within the body that they need to get to. The true definition on drug discovery is basically you know, you discover a new entity for therapeutic agents, but we took it into completely different dimensions. We get all of our inspiration from nature. We make them just like the way you build, you know, just like anything, like space shuttle. We build them atom by atom. And they're biologically active. That means it is already in the biological system. Now, can we incorporate those features of the natural product into design a molecule that would become drug? And so that has not been done. Well, when I came to Purdue, I had no idea I was going to be working on HIV, you know, no idea I was going to be working on Alzheimer's, no idea I'd be working on molecules that, you know, are, are going into um, clinical phase development and that, that sort of thing. So it's been very uh, rewarding. So this is why academic research, particularly drug development in uh, important disease areas, is very important. And I think uh, this is going to be a very exciting field.